Today is all about Qatar from the Gulf Collection of Roger Performs. This is an in-depth review. Before we get started though, if this is the kind of the content you like, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel as the channel and I are in uh, the very infant stages trying to make it big, uh, bringing to you my overviews, price points and alternatives where possible as 80% of my viewers aren't still subscribed. Subscribing to my channel, watching the ads and commenting helps the algorithm and in the long term will definitely help my channel. I am not uh, on the free bottle brigade just to bring to your notice and don't have any other means of buying these fragrances except by paying full retails uh, where I can. So this is going to be the last of the gems from the Roger Parfums Girl Collection as I only have three from uh, the total of five, two of which are discontinued now. Uh, unless I lend my hands on uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, so Qatar is one of the richest Gulf countries with intense gas reserves. It is therefore touted to be the pearl of the Gulf and this masterpiece could be considered the pearl of the Gulf collection from Roger Parfums. So much clout Qatar has the Kilian Paris and Bodicea, the Victorious, have also created exclusives for Qatar. Regal, elegant from the get-go, salty, animalic with the ambergris uh, and citrusy up top. Again, great impact from the get-go. Uh, for a moment, the rose de May kicks in after the initial blast, which de dissipates fairly quickly, uh, but might get you thinking that this is another rose oud. Uh, don't let that discourage you though because uh, it transitions rather quickly into the pear and peach and these two notes are the notes that are going to stay till the very dry down till the curtains fall off uh, just like the raspberry note in the previously discussed Sultanate of Oman fragrance under the same collection. The peach lingers in the air and exudes this aura of elegance and wealth. Fro floral notes are that of violet and jasmine and make an appearance and that's the point when it becomes apparent that this is a regal woody fruity floral composition hang on as the star notes make an appearance here and it is that of the cotton candy a realistic photogenic floss note this is going to be one of the more prominent notes so the fruity notes seamlessly merging with the floss candy like elixir Adding to the cotton candy like facets you have a powdery oris uh, with woody notes and cashmere wood making it feel uh, like you are laying down on a fluffy cloud of cotton candy. The cedar wood enhances the cotton candy cloud like fruity feel. Uh, saffron and oud adds a little spice and depth to the composition. Here again what we usually discuss about Roger Parfums is that he has a blueprint like construction which runs through an entire collection much like a DNA. Uh, if I was to give an example, say for example the Aoud collection which has uh, Aoud of course it had, had uh, once upon a time Majestic Aoud, uh, Musk Aoud which is now which those two are now discontinued. It also has Amber Aoud and uh, the third one being uh, Taif uh, Aoud. Uh, so that's a collection where you have a, a, a kind of a blueprint where one perfume would remind you of another. You have the Raja Houtlux collection which has Great Britain uh, which I do own Sheeper Extraordinaire which also I have in my collection. And there's DNA there as well and, and of course the costliest Raja perfumes uh, Hot, Hot Lux Roger, uh, which retails for about 12,000 dirhams, uh, has it running through as well. You, you do feel that these uh, perfumes uh, belong to a certain collection and there are uh, there is a blueprint that Roger kind of creates uh, before creating all his fragrances, if that makes sense. From the mid to the dry down, it turns from the initial appeal to the warmer facets. It opens bright with the citrus up top. You have the fruity nuances, but then it dries down to these warmer facets. Benzoin and vanilla adding to the signature Roger style, bringing in those Middle Eastern vibes. 
smoky incense, birch and leathery, adding to the sensuality of this one. Very slightly animalic, very ever so slightly animalic, dry down being musky and patchouli. More like a drawing scent, people uh, may want to get closer, rich vibes, regal AF. Done to perfection, seamless transitions, nothing stands out. Blended by the true magician, Mr. Roger Dove himself. Quite unisex. Though, on this channel, we believe in wear what you may, where you may. Dressed up, warning, don't let the fragrance wear you. The collection is a must-have in every fragrance connoisseur's collection, as these fragrances so very take you to the very place they're based on. What an end to a series in which we take a, a peek uh, into the Gulf Collection from Roger Parfums. Many more to come, inshallah. We shall be discussing the infamous Oud Aoud Collection right after, inshallah. Uh, there's a big, big surprise uh, coming to the channel that I shall not disclose as of now. If uh, the notes lead me in the right path, this should be the best uh, purchase from Roger Parfums uh, coming up next week hopefully I don't know when, I, when I'll be able to review it because I, I do try to give my fragrances a few way before uh, kind of uh, structuring these reviews uh, if that makes sense so let's move on to the presentation before uh, we end this discussion as you can see the bottles are regal uh, the packaging is uh, next to none uh, let's get a closer shot as with all Roger Parfums, they come cellophane wrapped, but as I mentioned, I usually try uh, wearing my fragrances. But the, the more complex the comp composition, the longer I take to bring these reviews to you. Uh, they do come cellophane wrapped, and under the cellophane wrapper, you have uh, the packaging. Let me focus on this for a bit. So it says Qatar, uh, Roger Parfums, uh, at the back, you do have uh, a note again saying uh, created by Roger Parfums on either side you have one of the landmarks of the country that these uh, fragrances belong to in the collection beautiful up top black with gold accents and that's what the perfume is like it's housed in the velvet the customary velvet cloth that all Roger fragrances must be laid in uh, that's how I keep it in my collection check out the dazzling jewels the bottle presentation the plaque is just it exudes wealth actually uh, the bottles are the same 50 ml concentrations uh, since I have it since I have not uh, mentioned this in my reviews I guess and I do like bringing price points to you so you can see if it's your dig. Uh, this one retails for 2100 dirhams a pop for 50 ml. Uh, that's the juice. Uh, be dazzled, as we always say. These bottles are just <laughs> magnificent. The sprays are good, uh, atomizers are great. They're pressure sprayed so you can see you can control the mist and how much you spray depending on how much you want for each wear. Uh, once again, the presentation is top notch. Uh, couldn't get any better. Do share your experiences and don't forget to comment. Feel free to ask me any question you would and I'll try to answer them to the best of my capability. Until the next time, your host Karamullah Kadwani signing out.